My it's back is jacked. Your children. I hear children too. Mm -hmm. oh. Who is that? I'm just nothing. I knew a thing. Never heard of this before either. Never heard Harmony, of this. Harmony, she was in labor. I had surgery. The whole time we I have was had in surgery. Super. <laughs> salt. Oh. Welcome back, everybody, to that chipper bunch. Mm -hmm. Live and direct. <laughs> Looking through the lenses of the iPhone nice. to the world. The iPhone 11. Hello, world. Hello, world. So, we thought we would hop on and do a fun little video of our. I'm not our hopping on. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting on. I'm not hopping. John, don't hop. We are gonna talk about our journey and what <laughs> she ignores me. She, she knows better. Um, about our journey, <laughs> we just sat the same way without even really? realizing it. Yeah, <laughs> our journey and our life and how we got to where we are and why our story is so unique. We are a blended family with six children, but our story is a little different than most out there. Maybe the same as someone. Oh yeah. But, you know. Oh, my back is hurting me. So, we did the same sort of thing. <laughs> Just on, ignore the PSA. Yeah. Because you complain about your back every five minutes. I got you a chiropractor. You're the one that changed the appointment. So. What, did, what did happen? It didn't work out. What happened? We didn't even go anywhere. We were supposed to go to the other house. Oh. No, we never did. That's the problem is I do the, we get the appointment and then I have work to do. So anyway, back on track. We we did this same setting type thing where we talked about us and our journey on John's channel, that chipper guy. Ironically, he was wearing this same thing, same hat. Was same I really? Shirt. Same yes, shirt. You were. Golly. Dirt perfect. You can check him out too. I'm horrible. He's got a YouTube channel. I'm more well life sometimes. We've discussed that. That chipper guy, dirt perfect. You know, if you like logging and dirt and awesomeness. Awesomeness. I wish I didn't get any videos for this weekend at work. Oh. I'm in trouble. Better do something YouTube's fun this gonna get YouTube's going to get me in trouble this weekend. <laughs> anyway, so I'm Kaylee. That's John. I'm Bailey. You're Macy. Macy. Just drinking out of Macy's cup. Hashtag cricket. Love it. Air. Yeah. I'm John. How you that doing? That chipper guy. And so we have six children. So I have two. I have a daughter who is 11 and a son who is eight. I have four. One's 11, nine, seven, three, two. So. <laughs> what? All born on the same birthday. <laughs> 11, I don't know the birthday. nine, 11, eight, nine, seven, and six. six. So, we have, so we have a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grader. One in each grade. <laughs> You're doing it. I was going to ask him to ask who's talking. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know why I put up with this. I'll stop. <laughs> Honestly, kind of funny though. I almost cried. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a lot of children, we have a lot of fun. We have good times, we have bad times, we have great times, we have horrible times, <laughs> we have awesome times, we have not so awesome times, but we always have times. <laughs> you know, always not doing it. Today I asked her what's one times one and she said we don't do times. Ooh. Well, touche. <laughs> the little less peanut. Yes. So. How did we come from? Where did we go? Where did we come from? Where did we go? Where did you come from? Got Nigel. All right. So, John and I met. Uh, Kaylee and I. <laughs> <laughs> we met in April of 2018. Mm, I remember but, it like it was yesterday. <laughs> I woke up. It was just like any other morning. It and was your birthday. Toast. You did it not. It was my birthday. I know. It was my birthday. Yes. So 
Brooklyn and Bailey, which is our two oldest. They're both 11 right now, but Bailey's almost Isn't 12. Isn't that a big YouTube channel, Brooklyn Bailey thing? Yeah, it is. It's a big, it's, I don't know. Anyway, so they were friends from school and they wanted to go together to a, a preteen conference thing at a church. So I invited Bailey to go. She, I, the problem was I had to get a hold of John to ask if Bailey was able to go, but I knew John had no idea who I was, and I didn't want to be this random person. Hey, <laughs> I want to take your daughter. Hey, girl. So I sent him a message on his birthday, and Facebook tells you when birthdays are. So I was like, "Hey, happy birthday!" And How are we can friends? I take your daughter. We weren't. We weren't friends. No. So you see, it was my birthday. So you were stalking you. Oh. <laughs> but it says it right on when you click on something. Today is John's birthday. So anyway. I was like, hey, I don't know if you know me or not, but we'd like to take Bailey to this thing. And he was like, yeah, sure, take them all. I think you said happy birthday first. Yeah, maybe. And then you're like, you're the most handsomest man I've ever laid eyes upon. Something like that. Besides Brad, Brad Pitt, was it? Uh, I must have dropped that. It wasn't sign. me. No, I think it was you. <laughs> I think you're forgetting. No, so, forgetting. so, yeah. And then after that, we just started talking and hanging out. Yes, we did. And here we are. Here we are. So. So what makes our story a little more unique is I'm divorced. Everybody wants me to flex on the videos at no, least once. No, stop. Count so below. I'm, you want me to flex. I, I'm i divorced. I was married by 21 and divorced by 23 and I had my two children. And that was six years, six and a half years ago. So. Time I was, flies. <laughs> Sure. And <laughs> <laughs> so I was married for 12 years. 12 years. Old man. And my wife passed away of breast cancer. So um, after about six months, you got a hold of me. Yep, after six months. And that, I mean, I knew that she had passed away, obviously, and I knew their story and their journey because he has a lot of it on the Chipper Guy channel. I share a lot of it with my people. Right, you know, going people. through everything. Mm -hmm. And I knew all that, so I guess I just, I don't I thought Bailey would want to get out of the house and go do something, which you think to yourself, like, oh, he's a single dad, I'll take one of his kids and help. Little did I know I was taking the easiest one. And it doesn't really help him out when I take the one who helps him out. So that's beside the point, but still. Another story, another YouTube video. Yeah. Um, so we started talking and then there was one night when he had put the kids to bed and I was gonna bring over a movie and we were gonna sit and watch it. was so bad. <laughs> and you were so, so nervous. I was so nervous. And I was so, so anxious. I was so nervous. I wasn't anxious. You were. He no. kept getting up and checking to see if kids were awake. So and he, it was why did it, why did I feel like it was such a bad thing? Your wife had just passed away. Well, so. It was like six months, but it was like I don't know. It's probably weird. I would think that'd be weird. It was weird that a beautiful woman wanted to watch a movie with me. You ran like four movies and came over? Yeah. We watched one. You didn't even watch it. Can you so do you scared. even know what movie it was? Hold on, let me think. Aladdin. He has no idea. Lion King. <laughs> what? No. Toy Story. No, 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 no. Anyway, Lion so then I didn't even I didn't even meet him actually when I picked Bailey up to go to that thing, and I didn't meet him when I dropped her off because he was at work, and your sister was babysitting. So I met you when you dropped her off. <coughs> well, when I picked her up, I picked her up with your sister, and then maybe when I dropped her off, I just kind of said like. Yeah, you were in the house. Mm. Did I? I don't remember that. Yeah, you came in. But then he brought me the coffee when I was at work. I think we talked about that a little while back in some videos. Brought me coffee at work, and then, I don't know, just spiraled out of control from there. And here we are. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so John proposed on... October or something. What was it? I don't remember. Do I don't remember, remember either. <laughs> I just remember doing it. I remember coming up with the idea to do it. I'm horrible. I'm a procrastinator. It was October something. I'm a procrastinator. Either. Yeah. 
but I'm really good at it. Yeah, so, so we like, came up with an awesome plan, proposed, mm -hmm. and our wedding is just a few weeks away, and it's getting really close. We got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. So yeah, our story is kind of just a little bit, everybody has their own unique story. Yeah. So for me, it was like, we actually dated for a while, and then we broke up. Mm -hmm. I was expecting this. I'm a loser. <laughs> I'm a loser, baby. No. So I was expecting this perfect lifestyle. Not a perfect woman, but a perfect like scenario. Like a perfect, you know, everything's just going to be perfect. And it wasn't that. Right. So I literally like, I got really anxious at that time. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't handle it anymore. And I'm just like, I need a break. Yep. And so yeah, that happened. Yep. And then I realized how long later? Ah. Six months, eight months later. Then I'll never have that. I will never ever in my life have a perfect scenario, a perfect um like life again. That's gonna and I had to come to that realization. Mm -hmm. And I came to that realization and there's some other stuff that's more private that happened. But I came to the realization and I said, I'm not, I don't have to have perfect ever. I'll never have perfect again. And so it's like everything that I do is going to require work. You know what I mean? It's not going to be easy. I mean, there's, it's definitely a lot of easy, but like it's going to require a lot of work on my part. And patience. And patience. And, yeah. A lot and of understanding that, yeah. and, and communication, communication. Yeah. and so once I came to the realization I was like man okay and then we started talking again yeah at a field trip yeah kids yeah. went on a field trip and it was <laughs> it was, he was wild there it was wild talking it was to the other dad that was in the room because one other dad in the room and I don't go to a lot of field trips no you never yeah just so, because it's another realization thing. Like I need to do certain stuff now that I didn't do before. Like right, I need to go on field trips. Because always went on the field trips. That yeah, and like dad's never going on field trips because we're busy working. And I'm like, no, I need to start going on field trips. So I went on some field trips. Went on one with Bailey, and uh, then I went on one with Liberty and Macy. Liberty and Macy. Yep. And you were not there. I wasn't there. So first. I was. I was like, oh, okay. I know her son's here. That's fine. And Carly said hi. Uh huh. And I said, hey, Conley. And <laughs> I said, hey, Conley. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so we went. And here was the kicker. I, I don't like, like, when you eat around kids in, like, a lunchroom, do you like, do you like that? I can't handle it. You obviously can. I can't. It's weirding me out. Like, it's weird. <laughs> like, 30 kids packed in a room. And there's a smell in there. You don't even know this? You don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about this. About? So, like, when it, uh, so I get there, everything's great. And then, like, 15 minutes in, she walks in. And I'm like, It was late. Couldn't find the place. She's, yeah, baby. She walks in. And I'm like, Oh, great. For some reason, I think you hate me. This is fine. Which she probably does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a loser. So she's like, talking to this guy and she comes right over now everybody in the room knows the situation all the other moms and teachers yeah so now i'm like I what like is good things up oh she stirred the pot up all right i mean <laughs> rumors were probably leaving the building before we left the building <laughs> so like we go out there we talk she comes up to me and starts talking to me about babies harmony oh yeah, I told it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so, why I was late. I forgot. Yeah, because you I went with Harmony to figure out the baby's gender before anybody else. So you can have the gender reveal party. Right. Gender reveal parties are horrible. We've discussed this. Yes. Yeah, so then I came in. And I was like, guess what? I know the gender. Nobody else does. And, and so I'm said, like, tell me. And, I was and like, then I she can't. told me. You told me. And I said, I can't. And I said, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> so then we go throughout the little, I'm like, oh, great. Like, she's talking to me. I'm like, okay, maybe she doesn't hate me. And then she's like, I didn't bring nothing for lunch. And this is where it came in. Now, the other day we had a bread discussion because there was nasty bread. That bread you bought was not bread. 
Yes, it is. It's 15 grain whole grain. No, 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 no. The other stuff. The oh, other from white Aldi. stuff. Oh, golly. It was horrible. I tried to have a sandwich and I'm like. So, anyways, I get the really good bread, didn't I? Mm hmm. I got it. I had it. It's a, practically angel food cake, okay? It was, I mean, it's delicious. It's delicious bread. I made an Super incredible unhealthy. sandwich. That doesn't have nothing to do with this. This is what I'm, this is how this all worked out. I'm telling them our story. So she's like, I didn't bring nothing for lunch. And I'm like, bam, here you go. Eat my sandwich. What else did you eat in there? What else did they have in there? Oh, but I had gummies. an incredible hard salami sandwich with cheese on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just fell in love with me ever uh, after that. <laughs> no, it's not all what happened. No. It took work though, didn't it? It did. After. I never had a problem. He left. It's like, whatever. Peace out, bro. <laughs> it's not really how it happened either. No. But, um, and then a couple months of talking after that, and I just left him alone. And then he was like, I need her in my life more than anything. So, you're so yeah. full of it. I <laughs> Call back to her. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so now we're here and parenting. Parenting can be tricky at times with our family because there's a lot of different sides to, to it. Like a lot of times, like in a divorced family, for example, my kids go to their dads every other weekend. So they have a, a parent, an, another parent who co-parents who is, you know, in the picture and all that. And then he doesn't. So the other four kids, they don't have a mom. And that's hard for me because I don't have my mom. I know John doesn't have his mom either. Yep. But it's hard for me because I know what it's like for my dad to be remarried, which is a completely different situation. And I was 26 when my mom passed away. I mean, they're a lot younger, but it's just kind of trying to figure out how to merge together, how to discipline correctly, how to help them when they need help, what each of their personalities are, which kids, you know, fight the most, which ones it's hard like depending on the day there's always there's always something going on somebody fighting or somebody tattletailing or somebody getting into something they shouldn't or mm -hmm. somebody not putting their plate away or they're somebody you know, not flushing the toilet yeah we had this and then, before the video yeah it's just a constant battle and it's some days it's really frustrating and i'm just like Ooh, what am i doing and then other days i'm like this is awesome I always told everybody I will have seven kids. I always said, seven kids. My mom and dad would be like, you are crazy. Are you going to be Amish? I was like, no, I want seven kids. They would. You're going to marry an Amish guy? They don't believe in birth control, so they just pop them out. But <laughs> Fun fact. Fun Amish fact. <laughs> Who wants the Amish fact? <laughs> so I got six, so that's good, right? And, I mean, it is hard. And it's a little easier with with a couple than it is the others because like the older two they were used to one thing and now it's something else and then not only did they lose their mom but they had a transition there of almost two years where they didn't have her but they had you know other family members or people who were helping you out whether it be her parents or your sister or... so they've kind of bounced around and so now we're trying to like get it into an organization like that's why the calendar's colored back there. The, the the orange days are certain shower days and the blue are someone else's shower days. So three and three shower days. Because if we don't, we're like, who took showers? Y'all need showers. And it's hard to keep track of everything. It is. So and then obviously homework and schoolwork and teachers calling saying, so-and-so did this today. So-and-so did that today. And it's like, it's ex it can be exhausting. I can get the whole house completely clean during the day and then I pick up the kids and we get home from school and it's a disaster by the time he gets home. And I'm like, I cleaned it, <laughs> you know? But the best part about parenting, I think, is that he helps out a lot. How so? 
I, don't I, don't know, I was just making that up. No. <laughs> just kidding. No, he's good at like you know I can I'm not I don't want to text him all day at work and be like so and so did this and so and so did that and I I don't know what to do about this or whatever. But I mean he comes home from work and he knows if the dishes are full in the sink it's because I didn't have time to do them or whatever. So he will just jump in and do them. Or if I say this kid won't do this, you know, or this kid needs help with her math homework, he'll sit down and help. Or, and then I can get other things done. Cause I think that's the one thing that helps us the most is working together as a team. Yeah, I think we work together real well. And the funny part is, is like you used to get mad at me for doing dishes. Because it you thought- It wasn't that I got mad, but I'd be more frustrated because being alone for so long, me thinking he's coming in to do the dishes because he thinks I can't do them or I won't do them. Yeah. But that wasn't it. It was that I've already loaded the dishwasher twice before you got home. And now the sink's still full of dishes and I don't have time to just sit here and wash them all because I'm making dinner. So. But but even in that though, now you're more of like, fine if I do them. Where before oh, yeah. you would get frustrated, like why, you would say, why are you doing the dishes? And I'm like, I'm trying to help. Right. And so, like, even in that, just, it takes a lot of time together, figuring each other out, figuring the kids out. Right. The kids figuring each other out. The kids figuring us out. They will literally walk up to me and say, hey, can I have this? And I will say no. And they'll walk right to you, <laughs> 10 foot away, and ask you the same question. And right. it's like, so just getting them to figure out, like, if she says no, I'm going to say no. And there's no right. point in asking me. So it's a lot of that kind of working together, figuring out the routines. The routines are kind of crazy. It's going to get wilder and crazier because no basketball. Yeah. And, and then come May, it's going to be softball and baseball. Baseball. And so it's a lot of just like working together and it's a lot of figuring out like, I know, like I always thought like I can make you laugh when you're frustrated. You know what I mean? Like, I can make you laugh. And then I realized, like, no, I just better shut up. Yeah. <laughs> She's frustrated. Sometimes I get really frustrated. But I, I mean. But, like, yeah, just figuring each other out. And the kids out and everything. And the kids together for figuring yeah. each other out and figuring out, like. I mean, they're starting to learn. But, I mean, really, we've only been, it's only been, like, four months that we've really been together all the time. Yeah. So, it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of patience. And it's kind of that thing where my kids, I mean, they've been with me their whole lives. They know my discipline. They know what they can get away with and what they can't. They know my little quirks of, you know, things that I say and whether I'm joking or I'm not joking. Whereas his kids really haven't definitely figured that out yet. So sometimes I'll say something and I'm like, yo, I'm just kidding, you know, or I don't know, some disciplining wise, like, dude, you can't do that. And well, why? Well, and then I have to explain it or whatever. Or if I get frustrated, I'm like, listen, just go to your room. Just go there. And that's kind of my, you calm down, I'll calm down, and then we'll chat. You've never told me to do that before. No. I just walk away. <laughs> I put myself okay, in Okay, yes, I'm going to sleep. I <laughs> know. Do I have to? So, yeah, so learning. Me learning her kids, Kaylee learning my kids, me learning Kaylee, Kaylee learning me, my kids learning Kaylee, her kids learning me. It's this big, like, balled up learning ball <laughs> of goo. And so it's it's really a lot of figuring out. It takes a lot of patience. And I think that's one thing that we really are good at is patience-wise, trying to figure stuff out. And we can talk to each other and be like, I can't handle it, sweetheart. You need to handle this. Like I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just over it. And so, a lot of that type of stuff. There has been some comments on YouTube about how she treats my kids differently than she does her own kids. And I've told her she's gonna treat her kids differently than my kids. It's only been a few months. I don't expect her to treat her kids like my kids like her kids. It's gonna take time to figure it all out. And I don't, I'm not like, well, you need to do this with my kids and do this with my kids because you do this with your kids. And we, we don't do anything particularly different. We don't, she doesn't say, well, her kids can go have a pop and then my kids might want to know you can't have one. Yeah. 
that doesn't happen. So it's like, she definitely treats her kids a little bit differently, but she's going to. It's going to take time. So there's not like a um, switch that gets flipped. Like, oh, these are my four kids and I've been with them my whole life. And I know exactly how they act and what how the best to discipline them and how the best to handle each situation because she doesn't know. You know what I mean? So a lot of that, so that was the one, there's been a couple comments about that and how she treats her kids differently and yeah. It's not that I don't love them the same, it's just, it's a different, we don't have that connection yet. We're still growing and learning and bonding and it, I mean, my kids get jealous when I'm sitting and reading with one kid and not them or helping one with homework, not the other. And I mean, my kids understand it and they get it, but it's the same the other way. You can just tell when any of the six need a special attention, you could just tell. They're lacking something right now and they need it. And that's kind of what I've more focused on. I mean, all parenting is hard. There's no handbook to parenting. I mean, even John doesn't know what to do with sometimes. He's like, I don't know, but he gets just as frustrated frustrated with my kids sometimes. They'll do stuff and he's like, I have no idea what she is throwing her math book across the room. Like, I don't know how to help her. And I'm like, okay. And then, you know, and it's kind of the same thing or just randomly we see a kid crying and we're like, what's wrong? I don't know. And it's like, okay, well that's, that's you. Cause I don't have a clue what she's going through or vice versa, you know? And I don't know, it's just, it's learning everything together. But as far as <clears throat> discipline, I feel like that's all I do. Like, I'm always like, stop doing that, well, stop discipline, doing that. Yeah, I think what people see on the camera, I mean, you're only getting a little itty bitty glimpse of, glimpse of our lives. That's what's hard to, to tell people about anything on YouTube, whether it's my That Chipper Guy channel or anything, you're only seeing uh, just a slight snippet, a 10 minute, 50 minute snippet of my 16 hour day. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And you can make that out to be whatever you want. I mean, you could literally make it out to be whatever you want. So I think what's nice is I can sit here and say, sweetheart, we need to work on this with your children. And mm -hmm. you can sit here and say, we need to work on this with your children because there's an area here where it needs to get fixed. So, and we're both open to those things. We can both see issues that we want to get straightened out. Yep. So it's not like, my kids are perfect. <laughs> Your kids are the problem or anything like that. It depends on the day, to be honest. But oh, each kid's different. Moly. Each kid's different. <laughs> and, it's, and it's like one day, one kid will be horrible. Next day, they'll be great. Yeah. But the one other one, then the next day, you got a different one. It's like woke up on the wrong side of the bed. And it's like, that's wild. Liberty's in a bad mood today. That never, ever happens. But it just so happens I'm and everyone else is having a good day. <laughs> The good one is having a bad day. Like yeah. it's just, it's just wild. It's yeah. always, it's always like, always working on something. Mm -hmm. Always trying to figure out something, straighten something out. Some of them are starting to kind of open up too, as far as coming out and like saying, I need to talk to you guys and they'll sit and talk and just let them talk. Yeah, yeah, that's been a big thing. But yeah. A good thing. As far as those comments go, I was like, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't think that I treat any of the kids different than the I, others. I don't think I you mean, treat even, them different. It's just, a, yeah. it's just a weird learning thing that you just have to get used to. I don't. Everybody but again, has to. But get there used is, to there it. is no. Because I would parent them different as a mother than Lacey parented them. Yeah. But there's no perfect parent out there, like. I don't know. There, there is no parenting classes. There is no learning how to parent without having children. Right. So, when it comes to parenting, I don't care if somebody else has six kids. It doesn't, it doesn't even, it might not even be nothing like how, how we parent our kids. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different scenario. So, I think that's one thing that's hard for some people to understand. Is there's no figuring out parenting. You just have to do it. There is mm -hmm. no like, oh, you guys are such good parents. How did you do it? I don't know. <laughs> we just do it. I don't know. Like we just. And if you think that, you're not seeing the behind so, the scenes action. So yeah, it's there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that um, straightening things out. Yep. And I mean, straightening things out. And it's I'm just kidding. It's how do I explain it? And the kids are growing. They're at a weird age. A lot of them. They are. I mean, age. 11, 10, 9, 8, and that 12, soon to be twelve. 
in that range, they're doing a lot of like growing up and they're realizing like, okay, I can't make poop jokes every, every two seconds. And it's like, and, and so like when you're trying to train a child not to do that, like now they're starting to think before I do something and how to act. And so it's- They're getting more control over their thoughts. More control over their thoughts and what they're doing. Um, and the old, the older ones are getting older. And it's like, let's sit down and talk mm -hmm. at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> yep. And I'm in bed. Because I have exhausted. lots of questions. And so we have to sit up for a long time and talk and talk and talk and try to explain stuff. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. There is. But and we're making it work. Oh, for sure. We're, we're having fun. I mean, majority of the time, I think we're having fun some way or another. I'll just blast some music and start dancing with the kids in the living room more. You, know, you love to just just live this free spirit of just like up. let's just do whatever. Let's go here right now. We're going here and I get home from work and then we run somewhere and go on and somewhere else and I'm like, I can't handle this anymore. It's like okay, Saturday. <laughs> he used Saturday, to say I hate doing... sitting home and doing nothing and it was so lonely and I'm like, Hey, you're home from work, let's go to Walmart. It's only a half hour drive. And I'm like but before we go to Walmart, we have to get stop for dinner because we can't go to grocery shopping if we're hungry. So yeah, but it's like, <laughs> but you love to do all kinds of stuff. Right. Like, let's just, but that's let's, because let's I go here, let's go here. during the day and I do laundry and dishes and I know, but it's the pumpkin patch. Like, we're going to pumpkin patch or we're going here or we're doing this Saturday and it's like, a, I'm running all over. But the, but the hard part is, is if I didn't have you doing that, I would sit here all day and the kids would sit here all day with nothing to do and be right. bored out of their minds. So like I, I have, have lots to, of activities plans. So like I have to be the one that's like, okay, John, the world doesn't revolve around you. Let me tell you, in certain classes, anger it management. Revolves around me. So yeah, so like once you realize the world doesn't revolve around me, like, and so the kids. Did you just fun. ignore me now? You said it revolves around you, so yes, I'm ignoring you because I'm trying to tell you the world okay. doesn't revolve around you. Oh. So. <laughs> Yes. So that's our story. We're sticking to it. <laughs> Golly. Golly. <sighs> really? Go old country. Listen to Aki Breaking Heart today. So the guys at work, man, they love that old country station that's out here. 103? Yeah. I used to work there. I'm serious, I did. I you got to, did not. Yes, I, did. I drove the van to like the different fairs and then I reported <laughs> the concerts and stuff. Oh, golly, Just golly. Oh, Steve my. Coaston. Steve Coaston's the owner. He runs the place. He lives right over there. Ask him. I don't need to talk. I've seen Steve before. Yep. Okay. He knows me. He used to work there. He doesn't know me. Fresh out of high school. Breaking in. Raking in that van, though, <laughs> riding around the pedophile van. Handing out bumper stickers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get some. Sign up to win some Sugar, Sugar Land concert tickets. Okay, stop. Okay. What I was saying is. That old country. Polka it's boring. Sunday. Polka Sunday. Oh, yeah, my Polka God. Polka Sunday. Golly. So, they listen to that stuff, and I can't handle it. Some of the stuff's not bad. You know, like old Billy Ray or Alabama. Travis Tritt, Hank Williams. But if I have to hear 18 Wheeler ever again, I just can't handle it. There's nothing that's stuck in my head and I keep saying it. Some of them old country songs and like, so Brian's the big guy with the old country, right? Like he has to have it on that station. So we will go change it on lunch and stuff. And he'll change it back. So like, he hasn't been here a lot this week. And the other people still listen to it. I'm like, can we listen to something else? I can't handle it. Like and what? then you used to work there. So you're yes. like, oh, yeah. But it wasn't the old country station back then. It was a normal country station. And then they went to old. And they try to act like they're better than the new. The moose. Mm. The yeah. moose is. Loose. <laughs> That's the people driving That's the van. True. <laughs> the moose is loose. And we're out here. <laughs> Kayla's like, I wish I had that job. Merchandise outlet today. <laughs> oh, you, you worked there too. I, no, you worked I did. there too. I did work there, but I once reported live 4103 <laughs> at Merchandise Outlet. In you worked both places. 
No, I, I worked at the one in Gladwin a lot, like a couple years ago, a few <coughs> years ago. Oh, man. It's awesome. Small world. The small. world is just small. So small. That's ex excellent. I don't know why All I right. the old pictures. Well, out. thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. Just Bye -bye. keep rolling. <laughs> Chipperguy.com. Black Friday deals. We gotta figure them out. My mouth. <laughs> oh boy. Sip on Coca Cola. Black Friday deals? Yeah, not chipperguy.com. We're gonna have to come up with some killers. We're gonna just, we're just, we're just. I'm telling you what, we're gonna sell out of inventory. Alright. So fast. It's gonna be great. Order is going to be coming through. All right. We also got a lot of hats to give away. They're not Chipper Guy hats, but we got 13 hats to give away. So that'll be on our next video. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down here. It's actually over here. Over here? I don't know where it's at. It's down here somewhere. Look down there and it's red. It says subscribe. Just down where? click it. Underwear. <laughs> I didn't say under. I said down. I was trying to get you to say I said the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, God.